Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review. And this one, I'm reviewing a very sp special classic one that's just been a classic for for so many years. And it's one that everybody knows and knows the story about. So, maybe in, considering for this year, I'm going to be re reviewing the 50th anniversary for the Christmas classic... How the Grinch That Stole Christmas. Always loved it. One of the one of the best uh, things based on Dr. Seuss. It's always, especially, it's been a Christmas classic for yeah for for 50 years. I just can't believe it's I just can't believe it's been 50 years since this came out. And one thing with this with this one, this is my this is one thing that my dad grew up watching ever since he was a kid. He's been watching. He will always been watching when he was a kid. He was watching it every single year. I know I won't be able to watch it as many times he has as he has though. But I know it's a classic, and it always been a childhood thing for a lot of people. Like I said, for my like for my dad, for myself, growing up reading the grow reading the classic Christmas story by Dr. Seuss. And I, I won't give give much more to this. It's it's, just, it's only it's, it's only the it's the Christmas special. It's only a, that everyone knows about. Everyone knows the story, but of course I got the 50th uh, anniversary deluxe edition here. Has some good has has good features in the back here. Has a making animation and bringing to life audio commentary with animator Phil Rom uh, Ramon and uh, June Foray who voiced Cindy Lou in this. Uh, Feature it, Dr. Seuss and the Grinch from Whoville to Hollywood, a rapping, rhyming chronicle of the original book and this beloved an animated ad adaptation. Songs in the key of the Grinch, interviews with the composer Albert uh, uh, Haig, and vocalist uh, uh, Thurl Ravenscuff, who, the singer who sang the classic song, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Who's in Whosville bio Biographic Gallery, Grinch Song Selections, uh, TNT's How the Grinch Stole Christmas Special Edition featurette with uh, Phil Hartman, and Grinch uh, Pencil Test. So that was good, as, as very a decent of feature, uh, features for the 50th anniversary. I think the commentary, uh, the best one is the commentary. I enjoy the commentary in this. And... And also one thing is it's directed by Chuck Jones, who's been an animator and a maker for all bunch of good classic cartoons from the day, especially the Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, directed many of the shorts, and he did wonderful. We did wonderful. We did wonders for this as well. And besides a uh, June uh, June Foray voice Cindy Lou, the narrator and the Grinch is voiced by. Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff has been from the old movies from the original Frankenstein, among among the old monster movies, but I think he did really f excellent, phenomenal as the not only the narrator but as the Grinch as well. And if this just slides out, it comes out this one right here. The Grinch is a <clears throat> The Grinch is such a, a classic, and it deserves a it deserves a 50th anniversary movie review. It's not and plus, but it's not gonna be that long because everyone knows the story. I just want to express how the classic is, but just but sh also but short and sweet is that in the story, if anyone if anyone doesn't know, though, I'm just saying, is that the Grinch does not like Christmas and stares down uh, at at all the Who's down in Whoville. As a great as you know, as they're sit get around the big tree singing, you know, welcome Christmas, Christmas Day. And all the of course done rhyming, you know, how the Dr. Seuss was, you know. Uh, the Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Maybe it's because his head wasn't screwed on too too screwed on right. Or maybe perhaps his shoes were too tight. Or maybe it's because that his heart was three inches too uh Two three sizes or two sizes too small. 
just the memorable, just the memorable lines from the book, just from in, into this, and it's just so memorable. Everything about this is memorable. The songs, the rhyming, just the animation is just memorable as well. And uh, with the Grinch, with his dog Max, and he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a terrible, awful, horrible idea. Makes the Santa Claus outfit. <clears throat> And of course, the memorable song, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. Just the song is very classic and memorable. And as it goes down, it goes down to Who, Bill. Takes all the presents, everything out of Whoville, and then drives it all into Mount Crep uh, Crepit. He was about to toss it away, but until he hears the Who's, you know, still gather, still gather, gather around for. Even though, despite getting not presents, but they, this is for a celebration for cru the Christmas itself. Just not about all that, which. I, which is true. This is, this is not about all the gifts and stuff like this. It's about spending time and celebrating all together. And of course, the Grinch says that, um, how can this be? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And then after that, he has a change of heart, and his heart goes three times as big. He goes to all the way, he goes, and he goes, as the sleigh's about to draw off, he grabs it and just lifts it up in the air, and he Goes all rides it all the way down to Whoville, gives everything back, and prepares in time for the for the feast, where he himself, the Grinch, carves the roast beast. So I'm I don't and it just shows all the plus I forgot from all the sequences where he's stealing all the stuff as the song is going. I this is why I didn't need to go into it, but everyone knows the story. Everyone knows how the classic tale of it is. This is that. So, but, but for, even though this is, this is a short one, but it deserves to talk about for its 50th anniversary. It's just it's memorable, it's classic. It'll always forever be a classic. One of the best Christmas, uh, one of the best Christmas tales there is. And it's only, and it's only so special, it was only made for TV. And... Yeah, this is only, yeah, this is only about 26 minutes, but... It's 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 but it's but twenty six minutes of just memorable classicness. I always I always I always enjoyed how the Grinch stole Christmas. I want I I always review this one though, but someday probably like maybe next year I'll I'll review Ron Howard's version with Jim Carrey. Actually, I was gonna plan to review that last year though, but I forgot about it. So, but I'll just stick with this one because this is much as much definitely is no. Well, Ron Howard's version is a is an attempt though, but this definitely has no it doesn't hold a candle nowhere near as this one though. So yeah, probably maybe next year I'll review Ron Howard's version though. But for this film though, it's just a uh, it's just a it's just classicness at its best. It always remember always remember remain a classic. Boris Karloff, excellent, well done as the Grinch slash the narrator, even for um. The little role, the little voice role, June uh, Foray as Cindy Lou as well. This the uh, just classic animation by Chuck Jones because you know he's not only the director, but he just it was an animator. Of course, I could see it all. You could just see it on the screen that it was this style of animation. It's just, it's just. I don't, I don't just repeat myself, but though, but. It's, just a, it's just always a classic, and it's just one of the cr classic Christmas tales. One of the best Dr. Seuss books there is. I always enjoyed it, growing up with it, and like I said, one of the biggest things, one of the childhood things that my dad grew up with watching every year on Christmas, ever since he was a kid. I don't know what more I can say. So yeah, this is, it, it, this is a, this is a much shorter review, though, because, like I said before, everyone knows the tale of the Grinch. So yeah. So this is my 50th anniversary. It's my short though, but it's uh, it's it is a proper uh, 50th anniversary review of how the Grinch stole Christmas. I just can't believe it's, I just can't believe it's been fit. It's been 50 years. 
So yeah, fifty years. But yeah, that's the that's the fifth anniversary review of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Is Still Christmas. Classic, memorable, to like to to read pretty much all to everybody basically. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned on the next movie review, and we'll see you later. And I was about to say, but say something like really some a line that's related to this. Hope I couldn't think of any right, as of right now, but yeah. But that's my 50th anniversary movie review and. And this is also a classic thing, a cult, a, always a good thing to watch around Christmas. Always. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned in the next movie review. Later.